make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on, click that check mark, and hit save. I'm back. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday morning. It's a gloomy day outside, but I'm heading out very shortly. I'm excited to share this with you guys. I don't know if you've noticed, which I'm sh probably sure you have, that I haven't been creating any content around my weight loss journey, working out. The main reason is because I've been having so much problems with my knees and my feet. I know that I pronate incredibly bad and it is time for me to actually do something about this. I know that I may need orthotics or some type of correctional footwear and so today I am meeting with a Canadian certified podorthist. I'm heading there for 11 o'clock, it is almost 10 and they are going to assess my walking, assess my feet. So I'm really, really excited because I really want to get back into my workout life. As you guys know, and a lot of you guys have subscribed to this channel because of my workouts that I previously shared and because of my weight loss journey. And I am just honestly just gaining a lot of weight um there's a lot of pressure on my my knees now are hurting incredibly bad i worked out a couple weeks ago and my knees literally were in pain for two weeks thereafter so i need to get this looked after so i'm really 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 excited that we're finally going to have some answers to find out exactly what is going on and just a note i actually had uh, an ultrasound done on my knees and x-rays and everything's fine. So it is definitely how I am walking that is causing these pains in my knees and my feet as well. So let's talk to the expert and see what they say. I am very, very excited to go to this appointment and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything around it. So stay tuned. I'm gonna take you on this journey, also share their recommendations and then at the end, I'm sure that there's going to be like a time period in which I do my first visit to my second one, but I'm gonna share my whole journey with you guys. So if you are experiencing pains in your knees, in your feet, this video is for you, or if you know somebody that may be experiencing it as well. So without further ado, let's get to this appointment. Hey guys, just got here. So I'm a little bit early, just sitting in the car waiting, obviously have my mask that I need to put on because COVID. I forgot to share with you guys that I was asked to bring a couple of things. So I'm asked to bring like my everyday type of shoes. So I've been wearing these Adidas shoes pretty often. Also my gym shoes and then a pair of shorts. I am wearing a pair of spandex shorts underneath my clothing, but um, it said loose shorts. So I wasn't too sure if the shorts I'm wearing are okay. So yeah, I am going to just wait like a couple more minutes and then head inside and I'm going to do my best to vlog. Um, I'm also creating an IGTV video for you guys too. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me. Here's my link. And um, I'm going to be sharing my first experience at the clinic with the certified podorthist, Canadian certified podorthist, um, on IGTV. So make sure to check that out too. But I'm going to head in in a couple of minutes and uh, start my appointment. Hey guys, I am here and my appointment is just getting started. Hopefully you can hear me with the mask on. I wanted to introduce you to the Canadian certified podorthist who is going to be looking after me today. So this is Jeff. Hi Jeff. Hey everyone. So um, Jeff is just going to kind of give you a little bit of details about himself and exactly what it is that you do and hopefully how you'll be able to help me. <laughs> sure thing. Yeah, thanks. Um, so yeah, my name is Jeff Grimshaw. Um, as Samantha mentioned, I'm the uh, president of the Podorthic Association of Canada. Um, I am a certified clinical podorthist, um, a Canadian certified clinical podorthist, and we specialize in uh, the feet. So we're orthotic and footwear experts, and um, we use uh, orthotics and footwear as tools to help people so that they can be healthy and happy walking around on their feet for life. And, awesome. Uh, yeah, this is something that we're uh, we're very proud that we can be able to help people out with and share this experience today. So I sat down with Jeff and he asked me a series of questions. I explained that the pain generally occurs when I'm working out or walking for lengthy periods of time. However, it is sporadic and occurs randomly too. 
He then said he was going to analyze my walk on a treadmill and then record it via video. With me walking on the treadmill, he was mostly looking at how my structure is put together. So in other words, my bones. After I was done walking on the treadmill, I sat back down and he checked out the range of motion in both of my feet. So essentially the soft tissues, the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, which allows the joints to move around. He checked my heels and the alignment of my feet as well. My alignment is definitely off and now he's going to show me the video of me walking on the treadmill. So here's a, a video or a screenshot actually here of what your foot looks like from the reverse angle. Okay. We're obviously we're looking at your left foot. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, so this is what we call mid stance. Okay. All right? so this is the middle phase of your walking, all right? This is um this is one of the phases that is going to do uh, a lot of uh, you know the most harm or arguably the most harm uh, to a foot. You know, we have a, a heel landing uh, phase as well that we can be concerned about, as well as a push off phase. But here, right at this position here, you're fully under load right now of your body weight, yeah. right? And that's when a lot of the muscles, tendons, and ligaments are at their most tense, okay? So if we look at alignment here, the things I'm looking at here, imagine a straight line going through like a bisection of your leg your lower leg here, mm -hmm. okay? And then we're gonna imagine uh, a straight line going through the middle of your heel, okay? So more or less, we're looking like that, all right? We typically like to see these lines close, as close as possible to being a little bit more well aligned or straight together yeah. with one another. But for you here, we can see this kind of, this bowing inwards. So that's telling us that that foot is collapsing and rolling inwards, right? And that's inwards in this direction here. So when we're watching you from behind here, we should only be able to see, you know, one toe, maybe a little bit of the other one. Okay. What that kind of looks like if you're picturing your foot as though it's on a clock, your foot should be kind of more or less be pointing to 11 o'clock on this left foot okay. right here. But you're, you're kind of more pointing to 10 or, or, nine, yeah. <laughs> or nine, right? You're walking that way, but your foot's looking that way. Yeah. Right, so now you can't push straight through your foot. You end up having to roll off the side of your foot. Okay. Right, and that's that overpronation we're talking about. We then looked at the video of me walking and my left foot stays in the same position all the way through my walk. It's staying too far out for too long and it's flattening my arches too deep, basically right to the ground. My other foot was a little better, but similar issues. We then took a look at the shoes I brought. I discovered that each pair was not helping with the pain I've been experiencing. He advised that I need a strong back area of the shoe because when I walk, my heel is the first thing that lands. When I put my foot down, I need full support on my arch. It needs to be strong and not bend. And we also want it to actually bend on my push off, so closer to my toes. After a thorough assessment, Jeff put together a treatment plan for me. It included orthotics, stretching, and change of footwear. So now I am being fitted for custom orthotics. These orthotics will be custom fabricated with a 3D volumetric mold of my feet using a 3D laser scanner. The raw materials used in construction of the orthotics are Poly Pro Direct, and I get to come back in two weeks where he's going to fit me, as well as try on a new pair of shoes that are recommended. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? I am having an amazing day. Today is my follow -up appointment. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me, take a couple of videos so you guys can see exactly what we're doing. I know that I'm going to be getting new shoes that are going to be better support than the Converse that I love to wear. And I also have like some other shoes that are more so trendy, but they're just not good for me or my knees or my feet as well. So today let's go in. I'm going to grab a mask because you guys know COVID. Um, so I'm going to grab a mask and head on in and I'm really excited. I'm excited to try on the orthotics and I'm also just really excited to get a new pair of shoes. And more than anything, I'm excited to feel better and to be walking without any issues and hopefully working out too. So without further ado, let me go inside. All right. So that's the liners that we take out of the shoe. Okay. And then these are the orthotics that we put into your shoe. Okay, perfect. Okay. 
Um, so this thing here, I'll point off or point out to you. This material here is meant to make your round heel square. Okay. All right, for stability. Okay. Uh, what people might think is is that this is a lift, right? Meaning it's hiking your leg up, mm -hmm. but it's actually not. It's flat. Okay. Okay. So again, it's just stabilizing the heel. And then this material up against your uh, foot here is antibacterial. It helps wick away moisture. Okay. So all that good stuff that we want close to your foot. So we're just gonna pop these in your shoes and then okay. have you take them for a test drive. Okay, sounds good. So we push all the way up to the front and then we push square down at the heel. Okay. Same for this one. So I'll have you put these on here. Okay. All right, and that should always sit at the widest part of the shoe. So that looks good across here. We should see the laces and this these eyelets here all even, right? Not kind of busting open or not really close together. Okay. Either one of those would be a sign of the shoe either being too wide or too tight, right? Okay. So this is good. We can check where your toes are lining up. So right in these spots here, you're a little close, I would say. So we might want to check a size up from there. Okay. All right. Um, but I'll let you, while you have them on, just kind of walk. You don't want to have your toes rubbing the end okay. or feel like they're in like a vice, right? Being too tight. Okay. Right? So let's have you come out here and you can walk to the end of the green carpet. And then back towards me. So you'll recall from last time that your foot has that tendency to want to flatten it and then tilt in, yeah. right? So now with something physically there blocking it, your feet are straighter, right? Which is exactly what we want to see, your feet underneath the rest of your body. Okay. Right? So it keeps your knees straighter, which was your problem in the first yeah. place, right? Yeah. Yeah. So guys, I am home now. I'm wearing my new shoes and they also have the orthotics in it. I am just kind of getting used to them, walking around and I have some feet feet that are following me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what they recommend is to kind of break them in. So I walk around about an hour a day for the first little while and then I'm going to increase my time every single day. So I'm really excited. I know that it's going to be a little bit of a transition because again it is now forcing my feet to no longer pronate because of the orthotics in them. So I'm excited, really, really excited to start working out again, guys. So excited to start working out again. So guys, I really, really encourage you, if you're getting any pain in your knees, your feet, your back, any of that, I really recommend checking out a Canadian certified podorthist. I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can find one who is closest to you and um, hopefully you can book an appointment and start to feel better and live a healthier life. So thank you guys for following me on this journey. Stay tuned because I'm going to be doing an updated post in probably a week or two on Instagram and I'm gonna be sharing how it's been breaking them in and also if I've been transitioning back into working out. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.